want to make these breakfast cookies. We're going on a field trip today. Let's go pick a slab. Guys, this is it. Fireplace. It's a little taller than I thought it was going to be. Happy Tuesday. I'm feeling so groggy and I'm like, I went to bed at like 9.30. Drank water. It's obviously just my medication, I'm guessing, but like, hello. Literally I'm doing everything right and like, I still feel groggy and like, I look so tired. So I'm just getting ready to go to my place because I have some content to take. We filmed yesterday. So today usually is like a filming day for me, but we filmed yesterday. So today I'm just gonna go take some solo content. I'm wearing just this sweater. Oh, guys, I literally wasn't wearing this sweater for the whole week. And then now that I'm back vlogging, I'm wearing the sweater again. But I was wearing it with white jeans and sneakers. Cause I'm gonna go to my house and change. I did not vlog all day. I'm sorry. Wasn't much to see though. I just took content, which you will see if you follow me on Instagram. Okay, I go home, it's like eight o'clock. It's too late to eat dinner. I meant not eat dinner. I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so I am going to order some pasta because I don't really have any, I did a grocery shop and I did like the worst grocery shop ever. So I'm gonna order pasta. And then I'm gonna self tan tonight because I have been feeling really gross. I feel like self tanning will make me feel a bit better. Like my nails are just disgusting. Like I just need to be human again. Uh, I'm gonna tan with the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in medium because I'm so pale that I don't think that I can go dark. I think it's gonna be too much, so. And then to tan, I use a mitt. This is Loving Tan. And then I use this Loving Tan back thing to get my back. And then I also use a little kabuki-ish brush and I like blend out my hands and like my neck and anywhere that needs it. Am I the best self tanner in the world? No, but I don't care. I want to self tan naked, so I'm not gonna show you, <laughs> but I'll talk to you after and you can see the difference. I'll show you the before. Oh, my stomach. Oh, okay, I can't get my leg around. I mean, this lighting is actually making me not, look not as pale as I am, but I am like, I mean, if you've watched my other videos, like when I'm standing next to the wall, like I'm the color of the wall. So I need a bit of a glow to make me not feel like I am withering away. I'm currently eating a banana muffin. It was delicious. I'm gonna order dinner and self tan. Mm. And then on my face, I use Tan Lux, the water. So I use this on my face and my neck and my hands and stuff like that. Okay, I just got out of the shower and washed off the tan. I just have like a bit of a glow to me now. I'll show you a different lighting, but my skin is less like pasty white. Like you can't see my veins anymore, so that's nice. Um, but I just did my skincare routine and lately I've been using the First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This video is sponsored by them, but you guys know that I love just the normal Ultra Repair Cream. So this one has collagen in it and I just learned after age 25 you start to lose collagen you start to lose collagen and your ability to naturally produce it slows down so that's great for me this has niacinamide and it also has peptides in it so although topical collagen won't help rebuild new collagen it will um, soften your skin's texture and make it appear smoother so I've been really liking this stuff and it's really great because I do have obviously dry skin so you still get all of those nice benefits of the super high moisturizing um, ultra repair cream. It's very thick, um, I, again I have dry skin, <laughs> how many times can I say I have dry skin? It's very thick, very luxury texture um, and it helps increase your skin's moisture level so I've been loving that. My skin definitely feels very like nice and, and smooth and soft after. So this is the First A Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. If you wanna check that out for yourself. I always uh, put an oil on after just to lock everything in. And also because again, 
I see this so damn dry. Okay, and then of course, I put sunscreen on. You need sunscreen every day, even when you don't think you do. And then, since like I put all these things on my face, I lose the tan on my face more quickly. So I'm just gonna do another spritz of the Tan Lux water on my face and probably on my hands because I always still wash my hands a lot. Okay. And what I also like to do, I'll show you after. I find spray just ugh, so good for hands. What I also like to do is take a brush. Actually, I have my good brush here. So I just have like a brush for tanning. And you can do this with the foam too. I'm just gonna do it with the spray. Is I spray the end of it, like a lot. And then I just like naturally contour my face. Does it help? Yes. Is it like super intense? No but I'll just put it where like I would naturally put bronzer and then I kind of don't need to. Sorry for my posture, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to not have a nip slip here. So I just pat this in where I would naturally put bronzer and then it gets a bit darker there and then I have to wear less makeup. That's my trick. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed now. Okay, here's also my stomach. It's obviously like not tan, but it's just like a little more glowy um, and compared to like what I was. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because the lighting was kind of orange last night, but this is like the medium, just one coat of the medium. So again, just like a bit of a glow. I don't need to be really tanned right now. It's still winter. So just a bit of a glow. Put really sticky blush on and now my face feels good. All right, I'm gonna head to my house quickly, and then I'm gonna go to the office. I'm wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday night. I don't have any clothes here anymore. She and I are waiting. We're looking at a unit in our current office building. Because our fucking office smells like smoke. Someone keeps smoking. And we Absolutely vile. Bad air circulation, so our whole office reeks of smoke every day. So we're looking at a different unit in this building. I don't know. the longest day like oh my god my eyes are like bleeding we spent three hours maybe just over three hours measuring securing all the fits for things into fall and it just was like a lot of really technical stuff and it was a lot so I just got home and it's seven o'clock which is crazy it's so bright out still I was gonna do a ringlet tutorial where I like, I, I, if you saw my hair a couple weeks ago, or months ago now, I don't know, I have no concept of time. I had curled my hair very tightly and I was gonna show you that, but I, I do not have the patience or stamina to show you how to do that today. So I'm gonna have to do that in another <laughs> video, um, but there'll be a picture here and let me know if you wanna see that. So now I'm going to get some dinner, something healthy. I did such a bad grocery shop this week. Like I have some pasta left over. I'm just gonna order something. I don't know. I, I just, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take a mental break and then I'm gonna come back. So see you soon. Dinner tonight is a salad. And then I, I, I did buy the salad because I didn't have any, I had no vegetables, so. I got this salad and then I just made chicken and I put it in it. This is from Fresh. And I got also a peppermint and Imo thing. I'll show it to you later. Look how 
fucking beautiful the hunting club is. It's absolutely stunning. Hello, happy Thursday. I'm actually taking the afternoon off of like work and I'm having lunch with my mom and um, I really needed it. I was starting to feel a little burnt out. So before my body decided what day was I was gonna take a break, I took a break before, you know, do you know what I mean by that? Like if you don't, if you don't take a break when you feel like you need to, your body's gonna be like, I'll tell you when to take a break. So I'm just taking a little afternoon break. I'm at the hunt club. It's like a golf club my mom's a member of, just became a member of maybe last year, I don't know. Um, it's really beautiful, so we're gonna sit on a nice patio because patios just opened in Toronto. And uh, it's a beautiful day, so let's do it. It like overlooks the water, it's very nice. It's on the bluffs in Toronto. Morning, well, it's pretty much afternoon now. Anyone else just like so tired? I am so tired. Um, yesterday I went for lunch with my mom. I took the afternoon kind of off. Um, I needed it. I'm definitely very, very tired. Um, so I took the afternoon off, went to lunch with my mom. I actually went and got acupuncture, like it's called cosmetic acupuncture, so it's in my face. And it was so cool. She pretty much like diagnosed me i think she said it was like a japanese way of diagnosing where they like press on your stomach and she was like all of these problems that you have are due to like the wood element i think and which is like liver and gallbladder and she pretty much like your livers like can't can't like process talking to talkins toxins properly and then that's like why you have acne and like all the stuff so i thought that was really cool um and I'm very happy I did that. So that's what I did yesterday. And now we have to go film. So I have to go to my house and get some things ready and then we're gonna film one to two videos. But you're all so fucking tired, my dude. Oh my God, I'm like really fading. I don't know what, I don't know if it's like the weather. I don't know if it's like the change of seasons. It was just like having been inside for a whole year not working out because i don't know i'm sure it's everything combined but oh, wow and it's like it's not tired like i could sleep it's tired like lethargic brain dead kind of tired damn it is what it is let's get to work oh my god i forgot to tell you guys like this is obviously not my car but the other day I was getting into the car and the door was open and I was like, what the fuck? And I opened, like, I opened it and there was like shit everywhere. And my first thought was, did I do this? It's like, no, you fucking dumb shit. You got robbed. My car got broken into. Well, not my car, Jonathan's car got broken into, which was crazy. <laughs> they didn't take anything, which is also crazy because there was like, this diamond ring and like tools okay anyway it was crazy so they didn't take anything i'm guessing they were looking for money but it was in like the locked underground which is crazy how many times can i say crazy shut up okay you can tell me how to add more footage <laughs> okay we're filming this is our setup this is Ethan. Hello. This is his camera. <laughs> it's here, someone that picked out for different kinds of spring dates. Okay, we filmed all the stuff for the next video is there. And I just had a Greek salad. And now I'm gonna go home. It's Friday, day's done. I'm just gonna go home now. I can't wait till this is my home, but. My fucking appliances got delayed again. Like, oh my God. I literally ordered my appliances in November. It is April next week. So they're coming April 3rd, apparently. But we'll see. No promises, that's for sure. All right. I actually went to the grocery store, which... <laughs> 
big accomplishment for me. I never go, I always order groceries, but um, I just stopped on the way home. I didn't get too much, I literally got like three things. I got a bag of onions. I got four lemons, which I don't think was enough, but we'll work with it. And then I got two big ass oranges because I'm gonna make orange juice tomorrow morning. I got vitamin D3 drops and, oh fuck, I forgot vitamin C. Got uh, magnesium. And that's my grocery haul. Oh, we do have vitamin C, ew, but chewable blueberry, gross. Uh, that ain't for me. <laughs> I feel like every time I vlog, I'm making this. I swear I make other things. I am making chicken and lemon pasta because I am lazy. I swear I know how to cook lots of other things, but this is just a comfort. I usually do fun meal Fridays where I eat a fun meal on Friday, but I'm tired, I am lazy, and this is just comfort food for me. This is like, just, I feel so satisfied after this meal. So that's what I'm making. Leave me alone. I'm also gonna take my Puris. This is Friday. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but like, I write, I write the days on it so I don't double take. But okay, like I get it. I can't get pregnant. Like Jesus Christ, this is happening on every single pill. It's like relax. You can't get pregnant on this pill because birth defects severely fucks up fetus. Also, the shirt is vintage. I know people are gonna ask. My dinner is done. What I like about this dish that I always make on camera is that I always have the ingredients for it. No matter what, I always have lemons. I always have onions, garlic. I usually have chicken. It's nice. And I made just enough so I can make it tomorrow. All right, and then I put I'll show you. Apparently there's really good vegan Parmesan, but I can never find it at the grocery store, so I'm just putting nutritional yeast on top. It's like, this is what I think cheese tastes like now. 